but these are sunglasses perfectly made. Oh, oh that's adorable. What is that? What's going on everybody? This is Mac Daddy Plays. You're watching Mike here and we are going to get into some pretty epic Funko Pops today. And I have a big message at the end, so make sure you stick around for the whole video. Let's get started. Now the first order of business is not actually a Funko Pop itself. It's more of a prop. And here's what I'm talking about right here. Boom. Who recognizes these bad boys? That's right. These are Squirtle's sunglasses from the Squirtle Squad, if you ever watched the first season. Or a lot of people just know of the Squirtle Squad. But these are sunglasses perfectly made. Oh! <laughs> that's, not, that's supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, for our Squirtle Funko Pop here. This is the large size one, if you didn't know. Um, but here he is. I mean, it just sits right there perfectly. And uh, it was just like 3D printed. I found it on this guy, uh, White House Maker on Etsy. Uh, I think he's currently sold out at this moment, but I'm sure he'll probably come out with more. It's probably a hot selling item. Um, I think a lot of people wanted this as a chase pop, but we never got it. So I think the Funko Pop ah, community, I'm holding it, that's why it's falling off. I took it upon themselves to make their own Squirtle Squad glasses. Uh, I love it. It doesn't end there though. What about Junior? Don't worry guys, he gets his very own pair as well. I wonder if he'll sit up there on his head. Oh, that's adorable. Guys. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. I might I might keep it like that. I did have him up on my... I, you'll, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see how I cute, usually keep this guy. Um, but this that's cute. Oh man, I need to get more. I need more Squirtles. <laughs> Next, we're opening up some Charmander and Bulbasaur. Well, Mike, Charmander and Bulbasaur have already been out for quite a while. These are different. These are the limited edition uh, flocked uh, exclusives. They did a viral con because uh, Emerald City Comic Con, of course, got canceled uh, due to the coronavirus, which I will talk about later in the video. Um, but yeah, so Charmander was a Walmart shared exclusive and Bulbasaur was a uh, Amazon exclusive uh, along with the viral con. If you got the viral con you had a different sticker and if you're a sticker chaser you know exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, so one second, I'll show you the sticker. So I picked up this guy because it was like the only thing I could get and the, you can just see that the sticker is different. Alright, so of course there's that's the, the, the regular sticker for the shared, um, the more easy to get pop where this is the very hard to get. Uh, I think it sold out in a matter of minutes. I actually waited for the online store to open and I was one of the first ones to get in and out of that and it was already sold out by the time I was trying to check out. But now we got to see how these compare to the regular ones. Boom, there he is. And then of course there's his twin brother here. Uh, so this is the flocked version, very fuzzy. I love it. Uh, and then of course here's our vinyl uh, brother here. So there's kind of a color comparison. I'll show you some uh, little other things. But I just, I what I really love about the flocked pops is just the way the color is. I just feel like it's more Genuine. I kind of. It really has that feeling of uh, like the Pokemon Dungeon DX game that's out right now, or the remake rather. Uh, they made it all look like they're kind of flocked. Um, I love them. Next, we have Charmander. And there he is again. Uh, boom! Right there with his vinyl brother. I was on. You can clearly see there's a huge uh, color hue difference between these two. Um, one of the big things I've noticed, and I don't know if it's between all of them, is if you can see that his tail is kind of, doesn't quite meet up. It's kind of like, it looks like it's taped on, if you can tell how it kind of flush that one is. 
the suede one or flocked one, however you want to say it, uh, kind of kind of stands out a little bit. That's that's the only complaint I have. I don't know if all of them are like that. I don't think they are. Maybe this one just didn't match up. The next pops I have to review. I really have to share a little bit about this guy. The next person I have to talk about is it comes from Lazy Youth Customs. Uh, I saw his Instagram. I think it was shared by another big YouTuber. And I just, I loved what I saw. What he was already working on was amazing. And I had to talk to him. Had to like kind of see what he's all about. The guy is awesome. I can't wait to see the future stuff he puts out. Like I said, Lazy Youth Customs. Uh, I, when I saw this on his account, I had to buy this. I just think it's amazing. I, I've seen a bunch of people make these. Um, I'm so glad. This is like the first custom I've ever bought. I think my wife bought me customs like Stanley. Anyway, so here we are. This is our like diamond edition or glitter bomb, whatever you want to call this. I think there's an official version uh, called like diamond edition. But that is our Funko Eevee. And here's a vinyl one just for kind of reference. Um, I love it. It looks really cool. Uh, does. I just I just think it's so cool. I, I want to, to take on his whole collection. This is just amazing. I am going to put this one back in the box because glitter makes a mess. And Eevee is one of my wife's uh, favorite uh, Pokemon, so I, I had to have this one. Uh, as you guys already know, Squirtle's mine. Uh, when he started reaching out to me, he, uh, he said he wanted to give me a gift, and I was so humbled. And he even, he recognized that Squirtle was my favorite. So he sent me a custom made Squirtle Funko Pop. This is super awesome that he took the time to do this for me. And I think he did an incredible job. He sent me pictures. I haven't really seen it in person yet. Uh, I can't wait to show this off to you guys. This is something so special. I think the, the Funko Pop community really wants this. I think they should make this a chase for all of the Pokemon Funko Pops outside of maybe the Sunglass Squirtle. But I think we need more shiny Pokemon. <laughs> if you don't know, a shiny version of Squirtle has a green shell. Uh, and then, of course, here's a regular Squirtle. Uh, I love it so much. Um, thank you so much, Lazy Youth. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. It's so well done. It has a great finish onto it. I actually, I remember spending hours hatching eggs just so I could have like a shiny squirrel on my team. This is great. I love it so much. I'll try to put links to everything he has uh, in the description below. Um, like I said, we got to take care of our community. And this kind of brings me on to our next point. Of course, we all know that the COVID-19 virus is kind of rampant uh, right now, and there's a lot of cases. I am actually going to be leaving my home soon. Uh, might be after I already post this video. Um, I'm going to be leaving my home, my wife and kids, so I can go take care of others. And I don't even know where <laughs> yet my job's going to send me somewhere. Um, and I don't even know for how long to go take care of a bunch of other people that I don't know uh, in a place I don't know <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of crazy uh, if you don't know I work in the medical field as part of my day job uh, the world needs medical people real bad right now so they're sending me out am I scared a little bit I'm gonna try to be as safe as I can uh, that does mean I won't be making as much Pokemon content or be able to post on YouTube as much as I want uh, for I don't know how long. Any way you can try to support my channel I would be super appreciated in the time that I'm gone. I will be coming back. I'm not quitting YouTube. I just I can't work on it for a little while so I can help others. I just like to remind everyone to make sure you take care of yourselves, be safe, and have a great day. Bye!